In the next two minutes, I'm gonna show you how to do a VLOOKUP bot in Power BI. Take a look at the data that I'm working with. I have three simple tables. I have the sales table, which is linked through a one-to-many relationship to my products table. Products table is on the one side, sales table is on the many side. Now, the first thing that you have to ensure for doing a VLOOKUP in Power BI is that you have a valid one-to-many relationship between the two tables and the VLOOKUP is only going to work on the many side. That means we will write the VLOOKUP in this particular sales table. So I have a relationship. The two columns are connected, the product ID and the product code right here. Let's go over to the sales table and start to write our VLOOKUP. This is my sales table. I'm going to make a new column in here. So make a new column and I'm going to start to write, let's say, a price VLOOKUP. So I am going to write something like price from products. Now there isn't a VLOOKUP function like you have it in Excel, but there's a function called related. And the related function is going to give you suggestions of all the columns of all the tables which are connected on the one side. So we had two tables connected on the one side. We had the products table and the calendar table, and we can VLOOK up any column. At the moment, I just want to VLOOK up, let's say for the price column, I will feed the price column. I will close the bracket and I will press enter. And that is how you do a VLOOKUP. Maybe you would also want to do a VLOOKUP inside of a measure and not a column. How do you do that? I have a total sales measure, which is at the moment blank. Now to be able to write a VLOOKUP or the related function in Power BI, you have to use a row by row context. That means you have to go inside the sales table and then start to do a VLOOKUP. If you happen to start to write the related function at the moment, it's not going to give you any suggestions and this is going to give you an error. So what we need is the ability to first go inside of the sales table. So I'm going to use the sumx function for that. So I'll say that my first input is nothing but my sales table. And now once I'm there inside of the sales table, I can start to do my VLOOKUP, which is nothing but, hey, do a VLOOKUP for the price and then multiply the price with the units and that is nothing but my VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP of the price into units is going to give me the sales and eventually I want to sum that up. Press enter, drag the formula and you are good to go. Before you go, don't forget to check out my courses on Power BI and also do not forget to subscribe to my email list which is where I share incredibly awesome videos that I create and a couple of other things around Power BI. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. See you around.